Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my first video because this is my first video. I've been trying to start YouTube for a long time, but you know, self-doubt. And I realized that I really like making video content, so might as well give it a shot. If I do good, I do good. If I don't, somebody's gonna hear me talk. Harriet! The first question is, what is your full name? My full name is Zainabu Fafana. If you know me throughout the years, I've been mixing and matching. I go by Zaina. Today, I mostly go by Zaina. You know, that's what most of my family calls me. So I go by Zaina. My last name is Fafana. If you're Muslim, it's basically the first daughter of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But it also means a father's most precious jewel or adornment. And I feel like that's kind of true because I'm not a daddy's girl, but I'm really close to my dad. I love him. I feel like he loves me. We're super close, whatever. So yeah, that's my name. Aww. Second question is, where are you from? I live in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, United States. My mother, she is American. She's from here. Born in Jersey, raised in Philly. Um, that was wrong. She was born in Philly, raised in Jersey. My father is from Cote d'Ivoire. He's Ivorian, we're Ivorian. I haven't been back home yet, but I do hope to go soon. What languages do you speak? Hmm. I would say three, but realistically, I only speak one, English. I know a little bit of French and I know a little bit of Korean. You know, on paper, I just speak English. I tell this to my dad all the time. He didn't teach us anything, and it's not entirely his fault because, you know, my mom is American, and you know, most of the time you adopt your mom's culture, so yeah. My favorite color, if you guys don't know, it's pink. I am really a girly girl at heart. Yeah, my favorite color is pink. I have pink everything. The weird thing about it is pink is not really my color, for like clothes, like hijabs or whatever. You won't see me wearing pink that often, but pink is my favorite color. All my accessories, my stuff, pink, 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 pink. Are you married? No. If you would like to hook me up, don't. What college did you go to? I went to Temple University. My major was psychology. I got my bachelor's in that. I was at community college for one semester before I went to Temple. I know I'm probably not supposed to say this, but I love being at community college more than I did at the university. Alpha, it's alpha. I wish I stayed when I was there. I love the art classes I took literally when I was, um, that's when I really got into the groove of painting. Literally, I would have this whole studio for myself. I would be there till like eight o'clock at night, just in the studio, listening to music, drawing, doing homework assignments, my personal art pieces. And I would just be on the train going home like eight, nine o'clock. People calling me, my mom and dad calling me like, where are you at? I am painting. How old are you? How old do I look? I'm 23. The weird thing about it is every time my birthday comes, I just assume that age automatically. How many siblings do you have? I have three siblings. I'm closest to my oldest sister. She's 26. My sister right under me is 18 and my youngest sister is 15. Yeah. My favorite food, I wanna say, I don't know what my favorite food is, but something that I enjoy eating and cooking most often is definitely salmon. Seafood in general, salmon, crab, shrimp <laughs> what are your favorite activities painting of course well obviously but yeah painting illustrating when it's nice outside i like going to picnics whether it's by myself or by my friends i really do just be enjoying my own company period i like journaling i like watching k dramas i really like romance movies but i prefer k dramas because it just has that mm to it like i don't know american movies sometimes romances they get too fast they lose the like humanistic approach to it and it was like y'all know life ain't like this for real <laughs> what is your favorite show so i don't have a favorite show but i would say my favorite genre is comedy and like foreign movies especially k-dramas i love k-dramas i'm currently watching one show called business proposal and another called lawless lawyer I love K-dramas. I just got into it probably like three years ago and that's all I watch. What is your favorite movie? Oh, I would say Rocky, the whole series, point blank, full stop, Rocky. And um, and I want to say Shrek. Shrek is just a comfort movie, let's be honest. It's not like, I want to say like I would recommend this movie to everybody. You have to watch it, it's life changing, but it's just a comfort movie. I watched it throughout my childhood. This is going to be Shrek. My favorite song 
My favorite song is Fantasy by Mariah Carey. I love that song. It's just a carefree song. Every time I'm playing it, I play it most of the time when I'm painting or I'm in the car, I blast it. Yeah, I love that song. I would sing it right now, but it's Ramadan, so. So these are some of the questions that you guys asked me on Instagram on the Q&A. So let's get into it. Yeah, get into it. What is the top place you want to travel to? Bali, Indonesia. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to go. I think I watched, I was just, I just be watching YouTube videos on it and it's so beautiful. I know there's a lot of beautiful places that I haven't been to, but that's definitely top of my list. What places have you been to so far? <laughs> In the United States, I've been to Philly, of course, because that's where I'm born. Jersey, I lived there for a little bit. New York, I lived there for a little bit. North Carolina, I lived there for a little bit. And then in like middle school, I would go there every year because that's where my grandmother is. Also Atlanta on like a family reunion before, like Atlanta, Georgia. But I really haven't been anywhere. And Miami, I've been to Miami. and get into that about my next video, but that was for a project. And that was the first place I've ever been to without my family because my family is very protective and strict. So that was the first place I've been to. Not alone, I was with my older sister, but it was amazing. It was just like, like experience a whole nother world and it was just it was like culture shock because i'm not gonna dog philly but you know me i don't like philly Aww. it's not as colorful as it is there and i'm a colorful person i love color vibrant things went over there murals everywhere colorful houses everywhere restaurants boutiques stores colorful everywhere i was just like this is where i need to be this is where i need to be 24 7. if not here a place like it because good weather good people environments food let's not get into the food that was too good let's get the bell per everything was beautiful i loved it mashallah it was so nice i can't wait to go back when did you start your business let's get into the real questions i started my business in 2017 because i started painting late 2016 when i was in high school I started my business right after we had this art show in high school <laughs> This lady asked for my, um, she asked for my Instagram page or my business page or whatever, and I didn't have one because I was just creating to create. And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have one, but I can give you my number. And I wrote down my number and gave it to her. And it was so embarrassing. I was like, yeah, you gotta go home and make yourself a Facebook page and Instagram page just for your art, sis. And that's exactly what I did. Hell yeah! So 2017 is the start. What is your favorite thing to paint? People. People and patterns are either my own patterns or Ankara patterns, and those are just like African prints, like African textile. People and patterns mostly, it's my favorite. Chef's kiss. What is your favorite medium? My favorite medium is acrylic. Acrylic painting will always have my heart. I did oil when I was in my freshman year of college. Hated, Hated it. it, but those are also like, when I was using oil painting, oil paint those contributed to like my most realistic paintings but realistic painting isn't really that fun for me anymore anyway when did you become a full-time artist i'm not going to lie i've been a full-time artist in my head since i started this business literally i've been giving my all 100 percent since i started this business period i've been working jobs on and off since last year of high school. More serious jobs was when I was in college because I was a psychology major. So most of my jobs were in that arena and I enjoyed it because I enjoyed working with kids. Um, I was a therapist slash one-on-one -on -one support. I did it all uh, in and out of the schools and I enjoyed working with kids because kids, kids are hilarious. It's just nice to be around children. It's nice to help them, give them the help, the tools, the coping skills they don't need. I can get off track. So I became a full-time artist last year. I'm gonna say 2021, probably like towards the spring or the summer. Cause I was like, I hate working. I hate it. Getting up, working for someone else, having a set schedule, having to go on a lunch on a certain time and just doing things that my heart wasn't into. Ooh, ah, the so I came home and I said, you know what? I'm getting I'm getting some cons consistent money for my business now. We're going to get serious. And I feel like I was already serious, but I pushed my foot on the gas and was like, no, this is not a hobby. This is real business. Everything, we're tracking everything. Sales, success, goals, financials, everything. And I was like, I'm not working. I'm working for myself. So I want to say 2021 is when I became a full-time artist. Thankfully, I had like money saved up. And I had a bunch of years of experience behind my belt. 
paint parties helped me out a website helped me out like selling prints and stuff so that was a very long answer but that's when i started to become a full-time artist what did you major in in school yeah psychology i wouldn't say my psychology degree went to waste either because psychology <laughs> i love psychology i learned a lot it's so fun like a lot of that stuff stuck to me and um i even be reading psychology psychology books today because it's interesting what is your number one goal right now hmm that's a heavy question it's to be happy point blank yeah i want to be happy i want to be successful whatever that looks like if that looks like you know finally moving my parents out to someplace nice that means having a bunch of locations or museums with my art that means being able to travel that means being able to help so many people like if i'm in that position too i just want to be happy like there's so much people say i want to be a millionaire i want to do this i want to do that but as you get older you realize how much unhappiness and stress is tied to that and i don't want that i don't know nothing about that lifestyle whatever y'all got going on because that's not me like i've been suffering with depression for a long time and i'm just like i'm at the stage i just want to be happy is that too much to ask? I just want to be happy. I want my family to be happy. Everybody I love around me to be well, healthy. Yeah. Do you still live with your parents? No, I don't live with my parents. I actually just moved out and I love it here. I can't wait to give you guys a full tour of my colorful, colorful home with my art. <laughs> when did you start illustrating i started illustrating in 2019 i just wanted to play with it and then once i started playing with it i started making flat art then i started getting into detail i started watching some more tutorials i used to like do the little courses and stuff that i see my favorite artists taking or hosting so i started doing that and i just loved it because first of all you don't have to wake up get situated get your paint supplies out you could just pull out your tablet and get to work i love how versatile it is i'm an indecisive person so that's probably why i love it so much well obviously all the colors anything i want to erase anything i want to start over is at the tip of my fingers i love that 2021 is when i really found my style with illustration and you heard me say i started in 2019 2021 is when i really found my style with illustrations it's like not flat it's not crazy detail but it's just the amount of detail that i like and it's kind of similar to my paintings which i love what made you want to start doing paint parties i did a paint party once i think um, in 2019 and I loved it because it would be just these groups of people who was coming to do something for fun. Long behold, they're secret artists, they're creative. And that's like one of the biggest things, like a part of my brand, a part of my business. I want people to feel empowered and good through art, whether it's my art or whether it's art regardless, which is where paint parties came in because I just used to see how happy and how creative and how much fun people we have at these paint parties. And I'm like, oh my God. I need to get more. It was like a drug. I'm like, I can't wait to do another paint party. I can't wait to do this again. Like, I'll instruct people and teach them how to make the piece step by step. But I love when people just go for it. Most of the time I'll have an outline if I'm not painting, like create teaching a painting from scratch and they'll just go off. And that's the therapeutic aspect to it because you're not worrying about it being perfect. You're creating your own thing. And another thing I love about these paint parties is a lot of time people think you need like the paint and sip aspect to it. You need alcohol to have fun. People be busting it up at these paint parties because I don't provide alcohol. Like I'm Muslim. Like some of the times people will like sneak stuff in. I'm like, that's fine. I'm not supplying it. You know, they be having a ball. They be cracking up doing everything without the alcohol. And I just love that because there's so many different ways you can have fun. People get so creative and I love it. I think just last year is when I actually made a separate page for it, but that's when I started paint parties. And if you're trying to start your own paint party and you need help, please reach out to me. And if I don't answer, I have an ebook, of course, that teaches you how to do a shameless plug. I have an ebook that teaches you how to do all this stuff. So yeah. What's the best piece of advice you would give an up and coming artist or business owner? My tagline is be consistent and stay true to who you are. And I say this a lot of times because this is something I would tell myself all the time that I would fall short of it, like especially the consistent part, because I thought I needed to create things that other people wanted to see. I needed to do things that other people wanted to see all the time, but the past couple of years, I put my foot on the gas and I stuck true to that. And 
literally success has just been booming. Stay true to who you are because you're gonna do something that's inauthentic or that's not you or you're doing something for a trend and you're gonna get burnt out, you're gonna get tired of it, you're gonna be like, this is not what I wanna do. So stay focused on what you want to do be intentional and be consistent. And even if it takes two weeks, three years, five years, you're gonna get there, your audience is gonna come and they're going to love you. Hmm.